Good day. We have retired CQG Trader and are moving traders over to our web-based platform called CQG Desktop. We are excited to offer you Desktop and confident you will find it very easy to use, far superior in features, and has the history of reliability you expect from CQG. To get started, please click the link in your Welcome to CQG Desktop email. Now log in under the Live Account tab. Your username and password should be provided by your FCM, but it should also be the same as you had previously with Trader. Once logged in, you will notice the page very similar to Trader. This is intentional as we want you to feel as comfortable as possible during the switch. Everything in the platform is found up here on the upper left hand side. So please left click on the three horizontal lines. And here you're going to see three sections. The first section are all your pages. The second section is all the widgets that are available to you. And the third section is everything from notifications and preferences and from logging off. Now let's focus on preferences. If I left click there, here I can see my price movement colors, for example. I can change it from green to red to say blue and red. But I can also impact the whole theme. Currently it's a dark theme, but I can jump to light and you can see how it changes there. Everything from trade related settings to my reporting currency to fill sounds and notifications, it's all found here. It's also searchable. For example, if I type OTE, it's going to give me everything related to open trade equity. Now let's focus on the quote board. The blue tab indicates that this is currently the highlighted window. If I click on the tab to the left, you're going to see another quote board style example available to you. All of these quote boards come from the quote widget on the left hand side. If I left click there, here I can select any style of quote board I want. There's also lots of other examples of available widgets. For example, time and sales is here. But let's click on the quote board too. And here it immediately asks me to select a canned symbol list. Now I can create my own and I can share these. And what's nice about these lists is that they will be available to you on the mobile app. In this example, I'll go ahead and just click CME rates. We now see the blue tab CME rates. One of the biggest keys to the platform is the ability to hold a left click on these tabs and drag these windows where we want. So in this example, I'm going to drag the quote board here. Once you drag a window out, you'll see these three dots are available in any of these widgets. These three dots are going to be where a lot of the settings are. For example, like fonts, toolbars, coloring is all going to be found here. You also have the ability to pop things out on a new window. So for example, this window I can now drag to another screen. And if I log off for the day, it will remember where I save this. Now let's add a symbol to our quote board. If we double left click on this blank spot, it's going to bring up the search menu. Here I can type the symbol I know, or I can type in a keyword, for example, like oil. Here I see all the oil contracts that are available. I'm going to left click on CME Crude and select Feb. Now once it's on a quote board, I can drag where I want it. I can also insert any blank spot by right clicking, going to insert, and typing an apostrophe. An apostrophe is our blank space. Now let's focus on the right click on a contract already on our board. Here we see what's available to us. We have the ability to buy and sell. If we click on any of these, the trading interface of our preference pops up. We could right click and we can pop up a chart. We could also right click and we can immediately roll our symbol and this will roll to the next contract month. And we can also look at our contract specs which are helpful. So just click symbol info and you see when the markets open and tick values and things of that nature. And the last thing to remember is the three dots on the upper right. If I click there and go to manage columns for example, here I can move the columns around that I'm seeing. So for example, if I want my description in the front, I can just drag it up. If I want to get rid of something, I can just go ahead and hit that little garbage can there. You could also search for columns here. So if I wanted to look for expiration, just go ahead and type and search under all columns. Click there and click add. Now let's get trading. The first thing I'd like to do is link my quote board to my ladder. 
So if we come to the tab, left click on that circle, I'm going to make that blue, and then match that same color within your ladder. Now anything I click on the board will be reflected in the ladder. When it comes to trading, all your buttons are on the right hand side, and your quantities are here. Your stops and stop limits are here as well, and same with durations. Now if you're missing something, for example, like iceberg, good total cancel, a lot of that is found right here on the right by either clicking on this little cog on the lower right, or you can also right click here as well and you'll see usually manage hot, which is our ladder. Now if I wanted to add icebergs, I'll just come here and I'll jump to order types, click that little gearbox, and I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to make sure I enable icebergs. Now for trading, a lot of it is just clicking on the price you want and you're going to see it reflected in the buttons here. So if I wanted to place a buy limit there, I'm just clicking on my price and then clicking the buy limit. I could also left click on a price and drag it over if I want to enter an order. If I wanted that to be a sell stop, I could left click here, hold that left click and drag to the right. Any kind of trailing stops, OCOs, all of those are found here and you can click here to see the options. You can also set your preferences per product here. You could also click here if you're looking for bracket orders. Now to use those, the key is place clicking the button. So since it's orange, I'm using it. I'm going to left click here. And then we see that little button there. And if I left click here, I've entered two orders. Now they're not working. And if we click on our orders working tab, we can see they're not working. Now we just need to uncheck to submit these orders. And here it's saying, are you sure you want to buy one here and sell one here? And they're linked together and we can hit place those orders. Now we see those orders entered in the confirmation up here and we see them working here as well. Now I can right click on these orders to cancel. And you can also cancel your orders from the working book here by clicking the X. Now if we focus in the upper left of the ladder, here we see our account. If we left click there, here we can change to whatever account we have. So we can jump back and forth between accounts. You'll also see the three dots on the upper right. Go here if you'd like to A, duplicate your tab, and then you can drag it where you want again, that same dragging functionality. Or go there if you just want to do things like open on a new window. Now let's focus on the orders and position windows. Here we see orders working, orders canceled, orders parked, and just any order activity whatsoever from cancels to etc. Now we also have the orders filled down here. You can drag that up here if you want it in the same area. We're holding that left click and dragging. You also have the position windows here, purchase and sales, account summary, and then general accounts. All of these can be found here on the upper left hand side, clicking the three horizontal lines and found under the trading option. Now let's place an order in this heating oil spread. So I can always click on the price, hold the left click and drag, and we see that order go in. But just in this example, I'm going to go ahead and buy 25 and I'm going to buy 25 at the market. We see our order is working. We see our orders filled. One of the unique features of desktop is I could right click on this fill and I can go to filled orders info and what's really nice is I see what I did my spread at and I can also see the native leg prices. One of the unique features too is I can group by price for a cleaner look on my fill. So here I can see exactly every contract traded at each price and I can go ahead and hit copy here and just paste that in the email. One thing to note is under your orders filled here, the three dots on the upper right. If I click there, there I can go ahead and download my fill report for the day. There's also this little filter icon right down here. If I left click there, here I can say filter by dialog and this is going to allow me to search for previous day's fills. So I can go ahead and say, hey, I want a custom date between this date and this date. Typically, we only guarantee 30 days of fill data. And finally, Desktop has an Excel plugin. If you go to our workspace site, on the lower right, you'll see a CQG Excel toolkit for Excel sort. 
Clicking there will show you all the page examples and things that you can use with the Excel Excel Toolkit. You can also download it here under the CQG Excel Toolkit add-in. Once you download it, you will see an add-in appear on the upper right. It also contains lots of little data points here that you can automatically pull in. You can pull in your live account data as well as your orders and positions. The key is just to log in. Once you log in, your data will start flowing through your spreadsheets. You'll also see place orders here, and this is how you utilize our batch order functionality. Overall, please let us know if you have any questions. Happy to help.